Ho, ho, ho! Here we are with Jack the Greg again. Yes, and it is December, and it is Christmas. We are coming up to Christmas, and from now to the end of the year, we will be showcasing some beautiful Christmas meals on our Crossroad Barbecue. And as I just said a brief minute ago, we have a beautiful free-range turkey, and let's not forget Betty, who supplied our turkey today from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game at Preston Market. Opa. The first step, we've got some pre-made butter here with garlic, some salt, and some thyme. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna paste it on our turkey. And it does get a bit messy, but make sure you do it with clean hands. So we're gonna cover our entire turkey with this all the way. The next step is to make sure we put a little bit of pepper. Crushed pepper is the best. Just like that. And of course, we've just done the previous um, side as well. So now I've just finished the top. What I like to do is grab a beautiful real stock from Campbell's and use that as a bit of my stock as well. So what I do is, is I pour it inside like that, pour it all the way around, because when we cover it with foil, for 45 minutes, this stock, along with the potatoes that we'll put in a bit later, will be beautiful when we serve it. Opa. So there we go. So we put one of those packets in there, just like that, and the rest, we put some water, just to keep the moisture, so our turkey doesn't dry out. There we go. Just like that. Opa, we're nearly there. Our crossroad barbecue has been on. It's sitting at about 300 degrees on all four burners on hot, on low. And once we put this in, no one would think it's Christmas with this weather. So let's give it a go. It's very windy out today. So we'll put a couple of bits of foil, just like that, over our turkey. And again, just to repeat, we are going to cook this for around about four hours for being about a four and a half kilo turkey. We will be looking at it every 45 minutes, turning it over and taking the foil off during the different intervals. Here we go. Lift the lid. A Merry Christmas to everyone. Put it straight on the Crossroad barbecue, close it and come back in 45 minutes. Opa. Opa, you're back to Jack the Greek, and look at this weather. We're in December, it's Christmas in Melbourne, and it is raining and it's hailing. But thank God, we have the Crossroad barbecue on. We also have our heat strip heaters keeping us warm. And while I've got my towels, the rain has stopped, and it's a perfect opportunity to open the lid on our Crossroad barbecue to see how our turkey is going. Let's have a look. As I said earlier, it's been cooking for around 45, 50 minutes. Let's give it a look and see how it's going. Oh, fast, look at that. And we are gonna turn it over now, if it needs it, just like that. And let's have a look how it's going. Oh, ah, what a smell. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I think we will add a little bit more water. And while we're preparing it, we will turn down our, our lid, just to keep the heat in. The more water you can put at the bottom of your tray, the more moist your turkey will keep. So what I'm going to do now is just finish with a little bit of extra butter again on top, just to keep it moist. And I had this left over from before I actually put the, uh, the turkey in the oven. Just give it as much as you can, keep it as moist as you can. And obviously the butter with the salt and the garlic will give it a beautiful, beautiful flavour and taste. So, I will repeat, it has been 45 minutes. We have another two cycles to go before we take it off to brown. So let's put a couple more bits of foil and put it back in the crossroad barbecue. Just like this. 
The next time we'll open it, we'll be in around 45 minutes time, which at that point, we'll add our potatoes and we'll start preparing our roasted capsicums and our garlic bread. It's time to put our peppers on so we can make our little mezze on the side. Very simple, we wash our peppers, you open our crossroad barbecue, we still have our turkey cooking there, and you place them straight in like this. These won't take long, you can hear them already. Just place them like that, and you can put them on top, it makes no difference. Close the lid, give them about 10 minutes on either side, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna present them for our dinner tonight. Opa. So while we've been cooking our turkey, as I said earlier, we've had our peppers in there now for around about 10 minutes. Come in close and let's grab them. As you can see, they're a bit black, but that's the whole point of the skin. Because watch what I'll do. And I'll show you exactly what I'll do now and how I'll prepare these beautiful peppers for our mezze. Grab them here, just like this. And now what we'll do is, and this is Jack's little trick on how easy it is, to remove the skin. Put them in a bag, just like this. Like this, all them in. And what we'll do is, is we'll seal this bag for around five minutes, just like that. And we'll be back and I'll show you how easy it is to peel your peppers. It's been about five minutes now since we've had our peppers in our plastic bag, just steaming away, making it a lot easier this way to actually peel our skins. And as I said, let me show you how Jack the Greek does it. Look how easy it is now for the skin to come off. Opa. And it would never be that easy if you did not put it in the plastic bag. Peel it off like that. Beautiful, just like that. I'll do one more to show you, once again, look at that, straight with your fingers, straight off. And while we're cooking our turkey, these are next to it, cooking in the crossroad barbecue for around 10 minutes, saving time and effort. And one more, there we go, look at that, look how hot it is, still steaming away, but how easy the skin is actually coming off. And that's a little trick from Jack the Green. We're back now, we've taken all the skin off our peppers and we're ready to put them in our bowl, put some salt and pepper, some beautiful olive oil and a little bit of red vin uh, vinegar. So let's go. This is how we prepare it now. You cut the ends off just like that and slice it just nicely, just like that. Doesn't matter how you really slice them, at the end of the day, you're gonna mix them all up. You're gonna mix it all up once you start putting the marinade on there. And again, just cut them up like this. You see, we've now got all our peppers in our bowl. Let's grab our salt, just like that. Not bad. A little bit of pepper, like that. A little bit of olive oil. Just like that. And you want to put enough olive oil so it covers probably 50-60% of your peppers. Just like that. And I like to put a touch of beautiful red wine vinegar as well. Just like that. And I'll slowly just mix that up a little bit just to mix it around. Just like that. And while we're waiting for our turkey to cook. We've probably got another 45 minutes to go. We've made our beautiful mezze on the side. Roasted peppers. Opa. We've been cooking our turkey now for nearly three and a half hours. We're in our last stages now. We're ready to put in our potatoes. So let's take it out and have a look and see how it's going. Opa, look at that. Oh. I can smell it from here. Let's have a good look. Beautiful. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah. Beautiful. 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 Okay. So as you can see, 
Our water is starting to evaporate, which means we need to add more water. So we'll do that now, just like that. And all the water and the, and the juices and the chicken stock that we put in earlier is all down the bottom now, and it's starting to come up, just like that. And let's put our potatoes in. Beautiful. Put our potatoes in just like that. And these now will take probably another 45 minutes to cook. Put them all the way around because the kids love potatoes. Just like that. Beautiful. Look at that. Close it up once more. We're going to close it now for around 25 minutes. And then we're going to take it off for the last 20 to brown the turkey up completely. Beautiful. Here we go. Back in. Back in our crossroad barbecue. 45 minutes. Okay. Let me show you how I'm going to prepare our garlic bread. I've got a beautiful bread here, straight from Baker's Delight this morning. I've got my pre-mixed butter, garlic and oregano. Apply it straight in just like that on both sides. Beautiful, just like that. The kids love this next to their food. Just in there. And very simple, once again, Grab some foil, grab a little bit of it, put it just like that, fold it over, and as Jack would say, garlic bread in one minute. Opa. And what we do, we place it straight on the side, just like that for the duration of the cooking. Oh, nice. We're back now, there's about 15 minutes to go. It's time to take the foil off and allow the turkey to brown up. And while we're there, we'll also put in our garlic bread that we prepared earlier today. And let's take it out. Oh, look at this. Here we go. The foil has to come off now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Look at that. It's cooked all the way through. Beautiful. Okay, now we'll put it back in. We'll let it brown for around 15 minutes, just there on the crossroad barbecue. We'll put our garlic bread just there, right next to it. And we'll be back in 15 minutes to plate it up. Okay. We're ready to prep our chicken, but don't forget, we still have our garlic bread in there. Let's have a look at how that's going. It is quite hot, I have no doubt. So I'm gonna be careful how I pick it up. Oh, 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 oh. That's very hot. Let's have a bit of a look at it. Let's see how it's going. Oh, look at that. Let's have a look inside. Oh, bah. look at that. Beautiful. Let's quickly just take it out. Cut a couple of bits on it. Just over here on our little chopping board. Just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Beautiful. That's it. Now, it's time. It's time for our turkey. We've had it in the Crossray barbecue now for just over four hours. I've had both burners on high and two on low. And we're ready to take it out. And I don't think anyone has had and done this challenge yet on a Crossray barbecue. So this might be the first. Let's have a look. Opa, look at that. What a meal from Jack the Greek. First day of December. What a marathon we have ahead of us for Christmas. A beautiful turkey with potatoes cooked on the Crossroad barbecue. The big test though is let's have a look and see how soft and moist it can be. Let's have a look. Let's cut it up and have a look. Look at that. Look at it just break off. Look at that. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Opa. Let's see this. Look at it just come off. Just falls apart. Oh. Opa, how about that? Beautiful. Put that there. We'll take the other leg off as well. Look at that, just falls apart. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's plate up the rest and leave it as it is. Just like that. Opas, just there. We'll grab all our potatoes. Let's not leave the ring behind. Look at this. Beautiful. Just over four hours on the Crossray barbecue. Four and a half kilo turkey with a beautiful sourdough garlic bread on the side with some roasted peppers. Put that away, just there. Put the lid back down and let's just present it here on the table. Our first Christmas meal from Jack the Greek for 2019 using the Crossroad Barbecue. Oh,